Hello. In looking for problems where payments for an annuity are made at a frequency that's different than interest is convertible, I found that the problems in both the Mathematics of Investment by Broberman and the Theory of Interest by Kellison are kind of lacking. So I found yet another resource, this one, How to Pass Exam 2 by Klein and Barnes, that's got more problems in it and has some problems where, again, the payments are made at a different frequency that interest is convertible. And I found a problem related also to continuously uh, continuous payment streams. It's example two on page 54 of that resource. It's about finding the level rate of payment for a continuous payment stream that's got the same present value as a certain annuity due. Page 54 of that resource, it says, Willie has just won the lottery which will pay him 600000 at the beginning of each of the next 20 years. So that's an annuity due. He wants to trade this stream of payments for a continuous stream. I added the word level in there. That's the assumption that it's a level continuous stream for the next 20 years. You want to find the annual rate of payment for that new continuous stream if these two things are equal in present value at 8% effective, an effective annual rate. All right, now you don't really need to draw a timeline here. Maybe I will just out of habit here. You've got this 20 year period. He's getting 600,000 at the beginning of each year for 20 years. That's an annuity due. Last payment at time 19. The present value of this is going to be 600,000 symbolically times a double dot with 20 payments at this effective annual interest rate I of 0 0.08. To trade for an equivalent continuous stream, we are looking for some payment amount X as an, um, an amount of money per year uh, so that X times a bar sub 20 with interest rate i equals 0 0.08 would be the same. Okay, so we want to solve this equation for x. That would be the answer. There's two ways you could do this, an easier way and a harder way. Um, I actually want to do it the harder way first, or maybe I shouldn't call it harder, but just more work. I want to do it the way that takes a little bit more work first, because that's probably the way most people would try it first. And then once we solve the problem that way, there's a little quicker way, a little trick you can do to solve this problem more quickly that I'll show you as well. And the slower way, the longer way, is to figure out each of these a's individually first before dividing by this one to solve for x. But that again seems like the more common way people would probably think of doing this. So what's a bar? It's 1 minus v to the 20th divided by delta where delta is going to be the natural log of 1 plus i, which is natural log of 1.08. Let's go ahead and figure that out first. 1.08, natural log of that is 0 0.07696. Let me go ahead and store that and register 0. 0 0.07696104, that is the value of delta. How about the value of v? v is going to be 1 over 1.08. 1 1.08, take 1 over that. You get 0 0.92592593. I'll store that in register 1. All right, let's go ahead and figure out what a bar is here. Uh, take this v and raise it to the 20th power. There it is. Subtract it from 1. Now divide by delta, which is in register 0. This quantity right here equals 10.20583637. I'm going to have to divide by that, so I think I will store that in register 2. All right, now let's figure out a double dot here. The formula for that is going to be 1 minus v to the 20th divided by d where d is the discount rate, is going to be i over 1 plus i, 0 0.08 divided by 1.08. d is going to be 
about 0 0.074. Looks like it's probably repeating, 0 0.074 repeating. I'll just go ahead and assume that. All right, let's figure out then 1 minus v to the 20th divided by d. I think I won't bother storing d. I will just do v to the 20th. Again, v is in register 1. We'll call 1 to the 20th power. There it is. Again, subtract that from 1. Divide by d. Divide by 0 0.074, 0 0.074, 0 0.074. Get about 10.6036. Multiply that by 600,000. Get this. That would be over 6 million. Now I want to divide that by that amount to get my answer. That was in register 2. Looks like the final answer is x equals 623,384, and if we're after to the nearest cent, there would be 0.43. They probably wouldn't be after this to the nearest cent. Anyway, that is the answer. What's the quicker way to do this? The quicker way to do this um, is to realize that both a double dot and a bar are related to a. If you think about it here, with, with a sub 20, we'd be dividing by i, so in fact you can write a double dot sub 20.08 is the same as uh, d over i times, uh, excuse me, i over d times a 20.08 and a similar relationship holds with a bar except there's a delta instead of a d. a bar sub 20.08 is i over delta times a20.08. Therefore, if we solve for x here right away, the a20s cancel. x is going to be 600,000 a double dot, which is i over d a20, divide by a bar, which is i over delta a20. The a20s cancel, the i's cancel as well. You're left with 600,000 times delta over d. So that's 600,000 times the natural log of 1.08 divided by the ratio 0 0.08 over 1.08 Delta was in register 0. Uh, D, did I say that? No, I didn't say D in any register. That's OK. Let's go ahead and do 0 0.08 divided by 1.08. This is the 0 0.074 repeating right there. And again, delta was in register 0, so I can um, take the reciprocal of this. Right there, and multiply by what's in register 0, multiply by delta, and then multiply that by 600,000. And you get the same final answer that we got before. Okay? You got to realize that you can make this relationship pretty quickly, and you can cancel those a's pretty quickly to make this method quicker. But when you get pr enough practice at this, this is definitely the quicker way to go.